Hello everyone, and welcome to Ann's Sleep, a whole youth social talk show series. My name is Tommy Licatese. For this multi-part series in which we discuss the lifestyles that can impact our sleep health, I have the pleasure of hosting cardiologist, Dr. Vinod Patel. Today we'll be discussing heart disease and sleep. Welcome to the program, Dr. Patel. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about heart disease. What's the prevalence of heart disease? Heart disease are a number one killer all over the world. And it is the most common diagnosis patients go home with from the hospitals. What conditions fall under the category of heart disease? Uh, heart conditions are a, a conditions associated with the heart and a vascular system. The heart components are valves of the heart, uh, the electrical conduction system, and the wall of the heart. So it includes a valvular stenosis or regurgitation when the valves are narrow or they became, uh, uh, they became regurgitant when the valves are not doing their job. Uh, it also includes a condition which involves the muscles. And uh, the, when the muscles are weak, it's called congestive heart failure. It also includes the condition of the electrical system of the heart, which includes atrial fibrillation and other arrhythmias associated with that. Uh, vascular system includes a, a coronary arteries, which is the artery supplying the heart. Blockages of that can cause a heart attack. Uh, the same disease spectrum, which also causes stroke. Some heart condition itself can make a clot in the heart and that can go anywhere in the body. And if it goes to the brain, it causes stroke. With all of those conditions, what, how does sleep affect them? What's the correlation there between sleep and heart disease? Uh, when someone does not uh, sleep properly, or let's say someone has obstructive sleep apnea, uh, those patients have a neurohormonal stimulation. When someone has a sleep apnea, they stop breathing up to 30 seconds. When they stop breathing, uh, they have a lower oxygen level in their body, and various chemical receptors get activated, and um, their neurohormonal activation occurs, and that causes a, a damage to their vessels. It causes hypertension. It is also associated with a stroke, heart attack, aortic aneurysm, uh, and sometimes sudden cardiac death. How would treating sleep apnea actually affect uh, those conditions and improve your heart health? As we know, uh, sleep apnea can be associated with uh, hypertension, means elevated blood pressure, stroke, heart attack, atrial fibrillation. Studies have clearly established that if someone has atrial fibrillation, and if you treat their sleep apnea, they are le less likely to go back to atrial fibrillation after they are converted with external energy to normal sinus rhythm. So the first step for treating someone with a sleep apnea is advise them to lose weight, uh, avoidance of alcohol, uh, spe specifically at nighttime. You ask them not to use the medication which decreases their muscle tone. And the second line of uh, therapy is to use a CPAP machine. And as we know that 50% of the people feel claustrophobic and they cannot tolerate the CPAP machine. And the best option for them is to use oral appliances. Thank you for coming on to the show today. Thank you. Well, that completes this episode of Ann's Sleep, a social talk show series with Dr. Patel. We encourage you to explore the rest of the episodes and visit wholeyou.com to learn more about sleep breathing disorder treatment. The sleep professionals in this video series teamed up with Whole U to spread healthy sleep education across America and were paid for their appearances.